may be on the road to the Super Bowl, but we're also on the road to Rio tonight. Yeah, we're logging some air miles around here. In just six months, the summer games get underway in Rio de Janeiro. All day today, there have been celebrations in the city to commemorate the halfway mark, including the start of Carnival. Channel 2's Andy Sirota traveled to Rio for a closer look. Good evening. Rio is alive and buzzing with activity. Carnival festivities are underway, and we are six months from the start of the 2016 Summer Games. But the mood out here is eclipsed by mounting fears over the Zika virus and concerns over security, water quality, and transportation. If there's one thing Rio knows how to do, it's party. The city is set to take the global stage in six months as it welcomes the world to the 2016 Summer Olympics. There's beautiful people here and culture and a lot of fun things to do. I like it a lot. While the excitement and energy is palpable, the journey to get this far has not been an easy one. As the city prepares to host nearly a half million visitors in August, it is trying to stave off what could turn into a public relations nightmare. News of the Zika virus, a disease spread by mosquitoes, is causing a global health scare, and public health officials see no simple solution. But fear and uncertainty isn't keeping the tourists away. At this point, I think it's one of those things that it's a new virus, just like how um, the Ebola virus caused a lot of scare. I think it's, it's maybe the same thing. Let's hope that Brazil can keep it under control. The venues hosting the games are being inspected and fumigated. Olympic organizers are confident they'll be ready in time for the games, but admit the work isn't finished yet. We're doing final commission. We're doing a, a electrical tests. We're stressing the technology uh, services inside the venues. With the addition of new bus lines and a brand new light rail system, the hope is this will revolutionize the city's controversial public transportation system just in time for the opening ceremonies on August the 5th. In Rio de Janeiro, Andy Sirota, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Bill, Dominique. Okay, Andy, thank you.